Okay, we are back with more soap. I literally just hit stop on the last episode, and we're jumping straight into Season 2, Episode 3, where all of the Tates have gone missing in the basement, and I'm pretty sure that it's the escaped convicts that have got them. Um, in the last episode, also, Jody found out that Carol is pregnant, which means Carol is going to be in the show for quite a while longer, and... Danny and Elaine got married, which means Elaine is going to be in the show for a while longer. But my question is now, is Danny still in the mob? Because the entire reason that they wanted him to kill Bert was to get out of the mob. So instead of doing that, he married Elaine. Does that also get him out of the mob since the father is disowning Elaine? I don't know. I had thought that at least that would give... Danny a job because Danny does not seem to be able to get a job without help in any other way but we've got new characters and I'm not a fan of them <laughs> and where are Chuck and Bob I didn't see Chuck and Bob at all in the last episode this week's episode of Soap, Carol told Jody she's pregnant and he's the father, presenting Jody with a problem that won't disappear. Because Elaine's father cut her off, her inheritance disappeared. So Elaine and Danny had to move in with Bert and Mary, who wish she'd disappear. Tim and Corinne are going to be married, and Tim's mother wishes Corinne would disappear. Chester and Dutch disappeared from prison and had the police looking for them. Benson, Billy, Eunice, and Corinne disappeared from the dining room and had Jessica looking for them. Then Jessica disappeared. Confused? You won't be after this week's episode of Soap. This is the story of two sisters, Jessica Tate and Mary Campbell. These are the Tates. And these are the Campbells. And this is Soap. Okay, so really quickly before we really get into this one without me stopping it again. I'm guessing that because we have so many characters now, we're not going to be interacting with all of them in every episode because this one recapped what happened with Corinne and Tim's mother, but we didn't talk about that in the last episode. So I guess in the episodes where we don't see or interact with characters in the next episode, we'll get them. Which will explain why we didn't see Chuck and Bob in the last episode. They've got too many characters. We need to get rid of some of these people. Specifically Elaine All right, and Carol. Steve, you scream for help and I'll blow your head up. Rosie says. Chester? Is that you, Chester? Oh, like, darling, darling, you did escape. That's right, and we're hiding out here. Now all of you just go about doing whatever it is you do. And remember, one word of this and somebody gets killed. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> but you don't have to hide down here. We have a perfectly lovely guest room upstairs at the private bath. <laughs> Jessica. Jess, we've escaped. We have to hide. Okay, everybody get up. <laughs> now all of you just go about your lives as if nothing was going on. Fine, I'll go get dessert. <laughs> you hold it right there. Okay, now, everybody, you're all to live perfectly normal lives. Sure, a normal life with a gun up my nose? <laughs> Don't be rude. After all, Butch is our guest. I'm Dutch. Dutch? <laughs> Hold it right there, Buster. No, you fool. This man is Dutch. The Dutch are on our side. Hi, <laughs> Major. Very sorry, Captain. Get over there. <laughs> okay, now, remember one word. One word from anybody. And he dies. Anything in particular we'd have to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
she doing? Oh, it's, it's a great meal, darling. It's really just a wonderful dinner. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing's a pit. <laughs> I swear. Oh, geez, no, 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 no. Look, look. So we didn't know that Elaine uh, doesn't like stuffing. Have you allergic to it? Uh, had a reaction. <laughs> Elaine, please. Have a nice day today, darling. <laughs> darling. Nice day. It was okay. Come on, Elaine. My mother worked hard on this meal. I'd rather starve to death. Why don't you? You could stand to lose a few pounds. <laughs> she didn't mean it, Elaine. She didn't mean it. I meant it. <laughs> Take it easy. How was work today, darling? Close to the usual. <laughs> Let's go out for dinner. Elaine, the way you've been spending dough, I can't afford it. Can't afford it? You can't afford anything. That's because you've got the brain of a flea. Okay. Oh, <laughs> She's a girl. Easy fun. So, how do you two guys like working together? Oh, it's terrific. Great. Sure. One's got a flea brain, the invisible man's got none at all. <laughs> easy, easy. She's a girl. <laughs> you through with that? Oh. <laughs> Just have some dessert. <laughs> it's your favorite, Danny. Chocolate cream pie. Uh, oh, God, I hope there's a stomach pump handy. <laughs> We're adults. And for the time being, the four of us are sharing this house together. We have to learn to live together. We have to have respect for each other. We're adults. Sit down. <laughs> You really need that. Why don't you just apply it directly to your hips? <laughs> it's not for me, dear. It's for you. No pie special for you. You pig of bitch. What are you doing here? I don't know. You came all the way up those stairs and you don't know why? Maybe I came up here because I like to look at you. To look at me? Yeah, you're pretty. No, I'm not pretty. Sure you are. No, I'm not. Hey, you're very pretty. Listen, you. If you came up here intending to rape me, let me tell you right now, it's not going to be any fun at all because I'll spit in your face. Hey. I'll scratch your eyes hey. out. I'll kill you before hey. I let you. Yeah, what? I happen to be a killer, not a rapist. Oh, I love it. A killer looks down on a rapist. And if I was a rapist, let me tell you something. I wouldn't rape you. But I'm not a rapist. Oh, and how come you wouldn't rape me? Because I'm not pretty. No, you are pretty. You're very pretty. Why would you think that you're not pretty? Because when I was a little girl, I was fat and I had buck teeth. I look like a blowfish. And it doesn't matter what anyone says or how I look or what I do, I still feel like a fat little funny looking seven-year-old girl. That's funny. That's not a bit funny. No, but that's how I feel. Like a fat little seven-year-old girl? No. Like a puny little skinny little nine-year-old. You see, when I was a kid, I had all these terrible allergies. I had asthma and hay fever and hives. You name it, I was allergic to it. I spent my whole childhood just trying to get a breath. And I was real sickly looking, too. The kids used to call me Worm and beat me up. Oh. When I was 11, I changed my name to Dutch. They still call me Worm. 
enough to make me so mad. And so you became a killer. What, are you crazy? I was 11. Oh, yeah. Worm. Can you imagine that, being called worm? Well, listen, they used to call me Butterball. <laughs> they called you Butterball? <laughs> Everyone except Corinne. She used to call me Lardo. Butterball. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. That is not a bit cute. <laughs> How you doing, Butterball? <laughs> Knock it off, worm. <laughs> I can't believe I'm sitting here laughing with a killer. I can't believe I'm sitting here laughing with a rich girl. <laughs> well, you're really very nice. So are you. And you're very pretty. Oh. It's too bad I'm not a rapist. <laughs> Three meals a day. That's 21 meals a week. I know, Mary. I wonder how many meals a year that is. 1,092. <laughs> Chuck! I say, where's... Chuck! Bob, I have a date. Now, go back to bed and don't wait up, okay? I'm going with you. You're not going. Yes, I am. Look, Bob. No, wait, wait a minute, Bob. Now, look. <laughs> I've been through this. How many times? Yeah, you know what I think. I think it stinks. Come on, Bob. Now, look. If you had the date, I wouldn't go with you. I mean, I just want to be alone with her. You'll be alone. I won't say a word. I just want to see the movie. Gee, I got all dressed up and everything. Chuck, Chuck, go. I can babysit. Hey, thanks, Dad. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. Don't take me with you tonight. Yeah, yeah. And I don't go with you to the audition tomorrow. Come on, Bob. I mean, that could be a big break for us. No! You want to be alone? Well, you can be alone there, too. We'll just see how your career takes off. Okay, 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 you can come. Yeah? Yeah, but this time, keep your hands off her. Now we know what's going on with them. He's got a date. Do you think Chuck might need some professional help? No, 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 no. I just think he's got a disciplined Bob more. <laughs> oh, my God, they're back. Oh, Jody, how you doing, Bob? Hi, great. Hiya, Ma. Hello, honey. Ready for city slickers. How Fine, terrific. Never felt better in my life. You know, I felt so good I had to drive up and say hello. You got a problem. Boy, do I have a problem. <laughs> well, um, uh, what do you two guys talk? No, you know, Bert, I... it's okay. You can stay. But please, no cracks, huh? I mean, this is serious. <laughs> what is it? Carol's pregnant, and I'm the father. I knew he wasn't a pansy. Bird, this doesn't mean I'm not gay. <coughs> Jody, please, what it means is you're good at it. <laughs> but the first time she's pregnant. It's beginner's luck. <laughs> How about this man? Look at him here. Mary made a girl pregnant. <laughs> well, I must say, it wasn't something I expected from you. From Danny, yes. But you. Yeah, I know, but I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> you just do it a few more times, you'll be hooked. It's like pretzels. <laughs> This is serious. Bert, Carol is pregnant. I'm in love with Dennis. <laughs> this is not the perfect match. I mean, well, what do I do? I don't know what to tell you. I mean, when you were six and you came home from day camp because Perry Miller was splashing you, I could say splash back. But this, <laughs> how can I tell you how to spend the rest of your life? I have no frame of reference for this. I know there are not a lot of books written on the subject. Who would want to read them? 
I'm gonna get some coffee. Oh, Jody, I'm sorry. I don't mean to let you down. I love you. I wish I had an answer. It's okay, Ma. Really, it's okay. And uh, your answers aren't so hot anyway, Lee. <laughs> ah, if you remember when I splashed Perry Miller, he broke my nose. <laughs> He did. Hi. Hi. Were you sitting there watching me? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I look terrible. I look so awful in the morning. No, you don't. You look pretty. No, I don't. Sure you do. You look real pretty. You got real pink cheeks. Your eyes are real sparkly. You look very pretty. Your breath just smells a little. Oh! <laughs> That's just because I haven't brushed my teeth. No, listen, I'm sorry about last night. I'm, I'm really sorry. You're sorry? Yeah, I shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. I mean, I got no business being with a girl like you. You're used to a whole different class of guy. It was the best ever with you. Well, that's because you probably haven't been with a guy before that hasn't seen a woman in two years. Where are you going? Back to the basement. Oh, don't go. <laughs> what do you want with me? I like you. Come on. I do. You like me? Get out of here. I do. Well, if you like me, I guess I can't be all bad. You're not bad. Sorry, is this Eunice? For some reason, I thought it was Elaine. I'm so confused by these characters at this point. I get them. I don't... Well, I've been getting Corinne and Eunice confused, but now I'm getting Eunice and Elaine confused. Will I see you tonight? I don't think so. Why? Eunice, I'm wanted in ten states. Ten states. I ain't got no future. And if I ain't got no future, I don't want you to start being special to me. Name drop helped. Am I special to you? Am I? Go brush your teeth. <laughs> I don't want no, you Mary, to be tell with me. him. What is it? I mean, you sounded positively frantic over the phone. You won't believe it. You will absolutely not believe what's going on in my life. This is big. Big? Oh, Mary, you don't know what big is. Because, of course, you don't know what's going on in my life. <laughs> what? That Corinne is marrying a priest. Corinne? Oh, that is nothing. Well, what is it? No, Mary, you tell me yours first. Because after I tell you mine, you will not be able to talk. <laughs> okay. But uh, put your cup down first, otherwise you will spill your tea. Jody is going to be a father. <laughs> Dennis is pregnant? <laughs> I love no, Jessica. Carol. Oh. Because if it was Dennis, you're right. That's big. <laughs> he got a girl pregnant. My gay son is going to be a father. <laughs> that's your news? <laughs> you don't think that's big news? No, that's news. I think that's news. Not big news, but news. Not big news, not compared to mine. Right. Didn't they have a scene exactly like this in season one? Get ready, Mary. I'm ready, I'm ready. Mary, what do you think that I have in my basement? <laughs> a thing. Your big news is about a thing? <laughs> no, Mary, not a thing. No. <laughs> well, what is it? <laughs> Two killers. 
Jesse, what are you talking about? Two killers. Two killers, Mary. I mean, I have two killers in my basement. <laughs> Who are they? Who are they? Well, Chester is one of them, but Dutch is the other one. You mean they came here? Yes, Mary, oh. they're hiding out. And Dutch said if we went for help, he'd kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, that's awful. You see, I told you, mine's bigger. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's bigger, Jessica. It's awful. <laughs> but I don't know if it's bigger. <laughs> two killers, Mary? I mean, I think two killers is bigger than a gay guy and one pregnant girl. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's bigger. Although yours is big. Of course it's big. Just not bigger. <laughs> I would have had you if it had been Dennis. <laughs> Ma, it's not your fault. Oh, Corinne, I am sorry. I... I mean, I wanted to give you a wonderful. Are we wedding. doing a wedding in every now episode your very this season? Father can't even be here. Ah, it's all right. I wonder, do you think it's too late to have the reception down in the basement? <laughs> oh, Corinne, it's so hard to know what to do when there's an escaped prisoner in the family. Sorry, Ma. All I want is to marry Tim, and it's finally going to come true. I'm happy, Ma. And, and if you gave me the most elaborate, the fanciest wedding in the whole world, it, it couldn't make me any happier. Oh, I love you, Corinne. I love you. I love you too, Ma. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wave to you. Okay. Well, are you about ready? How does it feel to break your word? What? Don't you remember? You told me when you were nine years old that you'd never get married, not in a million years. Did I really say that? Yeah. It was all on account of a fight you'd had with Tommy Gibbs. You and he had made some lemonade, and when the fight started, he ran home and you gave me his share. But what I remember most about it was we sat on the porch and drank lemonade, and you called me your best friend. Benson, you are. You really are. Oh, my gosh. Who is that? That's Mrs. Flotsky. That's Tim's mother. We never thought she'd come to the wedding. This is wonderful. Tim will be so happy. She's going to object. Uh, Father Tim, what are you doing here? I'm getting married, didn't you know, Father? I mean, fish can marry now? <laughs> I'm no longer a priest. Oh, I thought it seemed too good to be true. Father of the bride, please take his place with the other guest. Oh. Will the best friend of the bride please take his place with the other guest? Yes. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. If any person can show just cause, why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now declare it or forever hold his peace. 
And now, if the... Just cause! I'll give you just cause! Why, why does that bimbo have to take my son's life and turn it into garbage? Oh, you could have been a bishop at least by now. It would have been a tramp, or maybe even a cardinal. Oh, there should be laws against you. You're a terrible, terrible person. Then you would have I knew that was going to happen. There be no just cause. <laughs> now, just proceed. Tim, do you take Corinne, here present, to be your lawful wife, according to the right of the Holy Church of God? I do, Father. <laughs> Will Danny and Elaine ever have a relationship that works? Will Chuck ever have a relationship with Bob around? What will be left of Bert and Mary's relationship living with Danny and Elaine and Chuck and Bob? What kind of a relationship could Eunice and Dutch ever have? Will Tim's relationship with his mother destroy his relationship with Corinne? What kind of relationship can Chester and Jessica have with Chester living in the basement and Jessica living upstairs? These questions and many others will be answered on next week's episode of So. Okay. So why are we speed running all of these weddings? We're only on episode three and we've already gone through. We've, mar we've married off Danny. We've married off Corinne. I got Elaine and Eunice confused and I got hopeful that Dutch was going to like run off with Elaine and that would be the end of both of those characters. But no, it's fucking Eunice that he's going to run off with, with which I'm not down with because I like Eunice. So obviously I don't want her running off with this guy who's a complete dick and we don't even know the full extent of his crimes. But fucking fuck Elaine, let her go off and <laughs> let her figure shit out on her own. Um, there's too many people. <laughs> that that's one of the problems I am having. There's so many people and it's all moving so quickly that I'm getting very confused. <laughs> <laughs>